Hello, folks. Uh, DLR analysis. What are the what are the DLR papers the last few years tell us? Uh, more importantly, how is CAT 2023 different? And so we did a video on quant and saying how is quant been and why was CAT 2023 anomalously tough? There was a big demand of saying, look, do it for uh, LRDI also. That's what we have gone, gone for doing. But to be very honest, there isn't much dramatically different. And the one big, big takeaway from DALR, which is why we put this giant table, where we have captured all the information from the last four CATs. We put all the known categories, and routes and networks and tables and scheduling and bar and arrangements and word puzzle and all of that. And so if you look at this, this is like a scatter plot with no correlation, nothing. And so the, the takeaway for me is that CAT moved from DI separately and LR separately, from puzzles and charts, puzzle separately, chart separately, to this combo, which is like one unit of math, one unit of non-routine thinking, one unit of puzzle, one unit of a nice wrapper and a story around it. And then saying, look, uh, think differently, think out of the box and let me see if we can crack this. And so per se, therefore, these are not that categorizable. And so our mind, works very well when we're given 14 templates to work with. And you feel like, look, I've practiced for all 14 templates. What the DILR exam is telling you, that there is not really a games and tournament puzzle sitting there. It's not really that CAT will say, out of these 14 templates, we'll pick some four for this year for each slot. No, they're not saying that, very clearly. The message from this takeaway is that, learn to crack newer templates, embrace the idea that it is not categorizable. So uh, very often our own students come back and tell us, uh, where are the questions from tournaments? Where are the tournaments from sequences, questions from sequences and arrangements? Why have you not put them separately? Why are they part of one overall mix? Because I have puzzles inside our system, which is arrangement and a little bit of math put together. Because CAT takes a ratio proportion idea and an arrangement idea and puts it together. It takes a prime number idea and a mixtures idea and puts it together. And we've tried to do that very aggressively very clearly. So the idea when you're preparing for this is do not get caught into one, uh, one fake structure. And so this is important, interesting, nice. You basically say, hey, I'm going to have a good look at some, uh, some types, some templates. I'm going to get some practice in each of these. But the TALR game is not categorizable and I'll appreciate that. If it is possible, embrace that. And so the really interesting, tough, challenging, beautiful, DALR puzzles do not come under any of these categories clearly, explicitly. They don't. And it is very important to say, look, I'll do four bar charts and pie charts and graph questions, three questions and standard sequencing puzzles. If you want to start from coding, decoding and blood relation, doesn't matter. Have a gradation to come rapidly to the point where it is not categorizable, but of high quality in kind of a mixed bag and do lots of questions where you're not looking to templatize them but looking to get practiced with newer templates. And don't over put a, try to put a structure on DILR when there is none. It is very important. They're telling us that, look, we can't be put in a box, roll with it, figure out this, enjoy it. Very often the temptation to put them like this, you look at a question and say, where is my pie chart question? Where's my bar graph question? Where's my, which of, in which, what type of question is this? You can't figure it out. It's not easy. Read, figure out which one you feel like this is something that I can approach. Try it, be ready to change track if it doesn't work for you. Roll with it within the section. But don't over categorize when you are preparing. That's a big takeaway. The other takeaway is the same thing we put as a pie chart. Fine. So if you look at this, there's no one thing that is very high. If you say, look, grids are 17.6%, we have every chance that if I look at all those questions, a bunch of those which I put under grids, I'll probably categorize them as something else. This bar graph is not saying that this is the split up. This is saying that there is no Minecraft split up. And even within this, there's one thing. Uh, for CAT 20, 21, probably till some parts of 22, there was at least one set among the four puzzles that they've given that was very much data interpretation, very much with a with a scatter plot or a diagram or a chart or, or, or pie or graph or something like that. Very heavily numbers, data, chart, graph, DI driven. Last year, even that was not the case. Even the year before that, it was less of a case. So identifiably clear data interpretation set is also being made to go away. So even that one thing that we said, usually we guys used to give strategy of saying if you're really good with charts, they typically one with charts, attack that, put it in the bag and go to the next one. Even that game, that plan, that trick, that idea of doing things doesn't exist. No. And so I know it is, uh, it is, uh, it is, it is little, uh, 
anti climactic for me to put dilr analysis and say there isn't any analysis i'm not saying there isn't any analysis sometimes you analyze data you look at it and say hey the big take away from here is that there is no discernible take away i wish people would statisticians especially would do it more often we manufacture a trend and thing and because you want to the provider wants to feel like i've cracked this trend the receiver wants to feel like this is one take away sometimes the take away is that there is no buying pattern to it i who are saying it should be comfortable i'm saying that who are receiving it said look there isn't a pattern there is there is value in understanding that i should not put a super structure very clearly onto my dilr prep and i want everyone to kind of digest that and if possible embrace that don't look at a dilr set and go is this math based is it a venn diagram is it a sequencing where is my arrangement puzzle look at the puzzle and go nice puzzle let me have a crack at it fine right? best wishes Thank you.